Hey, I'm Jason Coleman, your favorite celebrity loan officer, and today I have a special guest with me, Virginia Stewart. Hi, Jason. Thanks for having me. Virginia's one of my favorite people. He says that to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm talking about, uh, I want to go into what the iBuyer platform is, but before I get into that, interest rates are super low, and, and with the rates being in the mid threes to low threes, depending on, you know, you have to have excellent credit score in order to get the best rates, right? And it has to be a large enough loan amount. And one of my pet peeves is realtors will promote interest rates, but they, they'll say, oh, it's three and a half percent, but they never say, oh, what the APR is, which loan officers have to say that. And with the interest rates going down, is refinancing a good option as well? It, you know, if you can save over a point and you have a big enough loan, so like if, if you're at uh, 5% and you only have an $80,000 loan, and it's gonna cost you $1,000 in title fees to refinance, and you're only gonna save $40 a month, that's not worth it. Right, you want it to make sense. You got, yeah. yeah, it's gotta make sense. And I do mm -hmm. believe here in the near future that we are gonna see the conventional rates move down to the low threes and government financing into the twos. That is amazing. That is yeah. amazing. So moving into the iBuyer platform, I wanted to ask you, have you heard, well, have you heard of the sandbox law? I have not, but can you also explain to our viewers what an iBuyer is? Oh, an iBuyer. So the iBuyer platform is the Zillow's, the Open Doors. What are the other ones? Um, OfferPad is one. OfferPad. <laughs> so you have three or four of these companies and uh, Homey or something like that. I, I don't know. They're, they're just coming out of the woodworks right now, right? And they're trying to get into the title space. They're trying to get into the mortgage space and they're trying to move in and eliminate basically the realtor. Did you know that? Um, I'm still around. <laughs> yeah, right, right, I don't think they're gonna completely eliminate it, but then you have these real estate uh, brokerages teaming with these iBuyer platforms, right? which I think is totally stupid, in my opinion, because the iBuyer platform is trying to drive out eventually the real estate agent. And what they're doing is they brought this big lawsuit on, right? They bought a, brought a big lawsuit on, I think it was the iBuyers, about the seller having to pay for the buyer's agent commission. Do you hear about that? The buyer's... Agent the, commission. Oh, okay. Well, the sellers normally pay the full commission anyways, right? They normally okay. do, but right. up in the Northwest, in the Oregon area, the Washington mm -hmm. area, the MLS up there has now made it so no seller is advertising any commission for any buyer's agents. Interesting. Any, and that's coming here to Arizona. Now we have this new sandbox law that uh, and that allows these iBuyer platforms to come in and experiment just in Arizona. Oh. So what the sandbox law is, it allows them to, these iBuyer platforms to bypass the majority of compliance uh, regulations that that you and I have to abide by. Lots of compliance. But there, here in Arizona, they're allowed to get by with, I would say, steering. So we're we're working with a, a buyer right now who is buying an open door uh, home, and in the negotiations, they always steer you towards their title company, right? Yes, that's actually the norm for the i buyers. Now, it should be the buyer's choice to pick the title company. Correct, absolutely. Now here, the iBuyer platform goes out and lowballs our, our community and they'll offer like 20 or 30% below value. They'll come up with their own comps and, they'll sh and they will show you what they want you to see as uh, while you're trying to sell quick. So if you're lazy and you wanna go through the drive-through real estate companies, the McDonald's or Jack in the Boxes of real estate, you're gonna lose your butt. You're gonna lose your butt. How much do you think they are? Well, in my experience, I know some of my sellers, um, they did get offers from some iBuyer companies and they were decent offers, but then they wanted to deduct, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars in repairs that they had their own contractors do quotes on. But I ended up selling the houses for thirty thousand, forty thousand more anyways. So in the long run, by putting on the market, my sellers made a lot more money. And that's gonna be the case in everything. So if you are 
selling your home to one of these iBuyer platforms, you are hurting your neighborhood. You're hurting your neighbor because if you sell for 30% or 20% lower, you're hurting your neighbor's value. You're hurting the comparable sales, right? Yes, for the average. Because mm -hmm. it's not a distressed sale. When they're selling it. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that everybody in the real estate world wakes up and and educates their their warm market about these um, iBuyer platforms and how harmful it is to our communities. Thank you, Jason. You're, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. So, hey, if you have any more questions, Virginia is a fabulous real estate agent. She gives the highest level of service and you can reach out. Her number's gonna be down here and my number's right here. And uh, if you wanna reach out anytime, appreciate it. Appreciate you tuning in. And until next time, 